my best friends, Brian, who's my producer at the theater, and he also does the social media aspect of DPT with Regina, has a really good friend, Lara Lee, who wrote this cookbook. So they asked me to look at it. It's fantastic. The pictures are amazing and the recipes are balls, really good. This is what she looks like. And we thought we would make a sambal for you guys. Now, a sambal we made a long time ago is a very, very hot sort of relish. So we're going to make dabu dabu manado. And uh, these are Indonesian recipes. She's an Indonesian lady. And if you have a minute, listen to the Indonesian national anthem. It's one of the most beautiful anthems in the world. So we're gonna make this, a delicious side for fish, chicken. Frankly, I think Adam and I would agree with anything. It's gonna be really spicy. So there was some suggestion that I should wear gloves and I'm starting to think that wouldn't be so stupid actually. <laughs> Basically I just have these on because so I don't touch my eyes or hoo-ha after handling these large chilies. So we're basically gonna combine everything in this bowl, put some salt and sugar on it and leave it to rest. Then we're gonna drain some of the liquid and shred uh, bas uh, basil in it. So it's gonna be really delicious. I think it looks beautiful. Let's try it out, Laura Lee. This is a great cookbook. There's some beautiful chicken recipes in here and really good fish things in here. We're gonna use these beautiful chilies and I'm gonna roll them, which is loosening the seeds. So I'm not gonna use the seeds of all of them. So for instance, on this one, I'm not gonna use the seeds. So if you do that, you can sometimes get them to come out. See how they're falling out? It's cause I rolled it. Now don't let your dogs near this. You know what I mean? So I left a few little teeny weeny seeds. You know, Indonesia is something like 3,000 islands or something. I don't know if you know that, it's amazing. And this book is good if you wanna, I mean, it's really good. If you wanna start experimenting with this kind of cuisine, her book is a good place to start. The way to another culture is usually through the kitchen. I always tell people if you're nervous visiting some other country and you're on like some home visit thing, just go in the kitchen. It breaks all language barriers. Chopping up the chilies, chopping them pretty fine. Uh, why, why am I doing this? The seeds are the hottest part. So you just wanna get rid of some of the seeds. Seems like a lot of chili. <laughs> this is a little tiny, super hot uh, Thai chili. We're gonna put in a couple of these. It's a cool trick. You kind of roll it and then you squeeze them out like toothpaste. These I'm gonna leave in rounds. So the hottest part of the chili is at the top. The least hot part is at the base. So if you have somebody who's super sensitive, just use the base, this much. <laughs> or is it the other way around? It's that way, it's that way around. Look at that, how beautiful that is. And now I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes. These are very beautiful. I'm specifically picking nice colored ones because I'm looking at her pretty beautiful picture. I'm now gonna chop these into very nice little pieces by cutting them in half. I'm still wearing the gloves, cutting the half in half, and then cutting that into pieces. Chop in tomatoes. It's only a short time to wait, uh, Nikki, until our gardens are going, right? So the, Nikki did the cutest thing where he's selling his house and they're getting a better house, but he still planted the garden for the people who are buying it. So they have a harvest and that's nice. He's a good boy, that Nick. Have you ever been to an Indonesian restaurant? I haven't, I've been to a Malaysian restaurant. You know, Indonesia's Bali, for instance, but there's also radically different places than Bali. Oh, look at that. Now I'm going to cut up a shallot, I am. Lara would like you to use a banana shallot, I think, because those are the more common shallots in Indonesia. The flavor is almost identical, so. I don't think it matters that I'm using a uh, regular shallot, but you can tell me, Laura, if I'm doing it wrong. So I'm gonna do la la la, and then we do the same thing we always do. Cut lines like this, hold it together as you're doing that, little tiny pieces. Same thing with a mignonette, same thing with caviar service, same thing with anytime you need small pieces. 
I love these shallots with the green center. It was the first episode ever where I cut myself, right, Nikki? It was, uh, Chiffonading parsley. parsley yeah. So it's like a little thing. Then you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut little teeny pieces of parsley from your... Do you know how old that, that episode is? When we look at that episode, it's like, wow, we've come a long way, baby. So I'm gonna mix that around a little bit, okay? This is stunning. I'm now going to put probably some salt and some lime juice, some salt, okay. Now they're playing music outside. Zest and juice these limes, word, word to the wise, zest them first. It smells so good when you use lime correctly. I don't use it enough. It's floral and it's just gorgeous. These are nice limes, Reggie. Reggie got them at Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee lost his dog uh, five years ago or something and he hasn't gotten another dog and that they don't want to get another dog because when the dog died, it broke their heart. But I think that Maud and Joan are changing his mind. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna roll this slightly. Adam opines that limes juice better in it with a handheld reamer and he's probably right. All right, lime juice in. Oh gosh. And we're going to put uh, two teaspoons approximately of um, sugar. I'm using brown sugar. Laura Lee says you can use palm sugar, something I've always wanted to use. I do have it, but it's gotta be 15 years old, somewhere in the cabinet. She says to sprinkle it because it probably helps. Now this of course tempers the heat. Laura, I think you might be onto something. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful, guys. All right, so we're gonna leave this for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna come back, drain it, and tear the leaves into it. See you in 15 minutes. Okay, while we were letting this rest, I put in some circular pieces of shallot, I'll show you, because I thought they, they look nice. They're in her recipe also. Wow. All right, I'm just gonna drain some of the liquid off. I'm just taking basil and ripping it with my hands. I'm not bit make being fussy about it, like this. Be like, you know, like you know what you're doing. <laughs> she has fairly large pieces in hers. It's a large handful. Basil, Thai basil, which has a totally different flavor. You can use that. She suggests a lemon basil. Oh, I grow lemon basil. And I'm gonna put it in its little presentation thing. You guys ready? I hope that's okay, Laura. I bet you this gets really good the longer it sits. So I'm taking a lot of basil leaves. Do you think it's super hot? Mm. So flavorful. That is a great recipe. Wow. Adam. It's like a flavor explosion. Laura Lee, thank you for your great book and this incredible recipe. Listen, it's, it's spicy, but with like a grilled fish or something, or a could eat that with anything. Thank you, Laura Lee, for the delicious sambal recipe, and I'll be making more stuff in this book. This is fantastic. Remember, the kitchen is the way to a culture. So check this out, and you'll learn some stuff about Indonesian cooking. If you have two, it's a little intense. <sighs>